Sense, a leader in talent engagement through AI technology, recently unveiled its latest innovation, Sense Conversational Voice AI. This groundbreaking product transformed recruiting by seamlessly integrating voice AI technology into the Sense platform to automate tasks, including candidate outreach, screening, and scheduling. The new functionality enables recruiters to leverage voice capabilities alongside existing SMS, WhatsApp, and email communication channels to maximize outreach efforts and accelerate the hiring process. Joining me now for a quick demo is Alex Rosen, their head of product at Sense. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Hey, I'm uh, doing well, Chris, and thank you so much uh, for having me today. And yeah, looking for forward this. to uh, hearing more about this new new product. I've been kind of waiting for some kind of voice AI to come into the recruiting sphere, and so you guys seem to be the first uh, going on this. So, uh, congrats on that. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, tell us how it works. Give me, give us a high level overview of how this thing works. Sure. So, you know, Sense Voice AI, what we do is um, we have a um, um, NLP and large language model kind of powered voice uh, voice chatbot um, running now um, on top of Sense. So um, for those who don't know, you know, Sense is a uh, general recruiting automation platform. Uh, and we uh, talk to candidates and kind of guide them through the recruitment journey uh, to help companies uh, to hire faster uh, and, you know, and more cheaply uh, and find the the best candidates. So voice AI runs on top of that kind of core recruitment engine. Um, and, you know, it's obviously best in the demo and you'll see what it does. Um, but, you know, we can kind of guide candidates through um, a variety of steps of the recruitment process, things like free screening, scheduling, uh, even doing things like running reference checks. Uh, we'll kind of do the the pre-screen one today because I think that's um that's a a really great sort of a demonstration of the way that the the technology works. Yeah. So why voice though? Why voice AI, Alex? Is it is it just is it have different benefits than than text chat things like that? Yeah. So we have always believed and and we really believe in, you know, recruiting is really multi-channel. Um, so we're not actually suggesting to people that you should move everything over to voice, right? But uh, we, we've seen a lot of success, basically, every time we add a new channel to Sense, it makes everything kind of work better. So we work over text now, over WhatsApp, um, via mail. And so, you know, we we think that voice is really additive here um, for kind of certain kinds of conversations we candidates and we've seen in our kind of first customer betas going live that you know you if you can get a candidate to pick up the phone obviously and talk to the voice AI you do get a really deep rich picture of that candidate that is you know analogous to what a recruiter might do on that first call um, obviously we believe that SMS WhatsApp you know uh, web interaction all continue to to have a place you know you kind of just need to meet candidates where they are uh, and make sure that you're making it you know really seamless to talk to your company yeah, makes sense as they would say <laughs> yeah <laughs> there you go um so why haven't other companies come out with this yet i mean is it more is it more about dc technology wasn't ready yet and now yeah. it is I, I think that that's a core of it yes i mean at least i mean i can't really speak to other companies and what they're thinking, but, you know, um, at tense, at least, you know, we've been like, we've been, I'll call it like, we've been like hoping for voice AI for a long time now. So, so I've been sort of tracking this technology, you know, for a couple of years and we've even had sort of demos of the company prototypes. And we think that the, the, the technology is kind of finally caught up um, and it's actually ready to go now. Um, and, you know, I think that we've all probably talked to really frustrating, like, you know, voice trees, you know, you're calling your bank or, or, or your airline, you know, and that's not something that we wanted to you know, do, obviously, with our first foray into this. And I think that, you know, it's really become almost human-like, even in the last few, few months, as the Gen AI uh, technology, the LLMs have you know, really gotten faster, the the kind of text of voice, the voice 
attacks has gotten really good. You know, so we're really fortunate that we're able to kind of build on top of, you know, a lot of these kind of core models, add them, you know, to our kind of core tech and what's proprietary to sense based on how many candidates, you know, sense talk to on a daily basis mm -hmm. um, and kind of, you know, now have something that we think is actually something that, that a company can launch. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the use cases beyond things like interviewing and, and pre-screening candidates for the voice, what else do you think are those kind of the top use cases? Yes. I mean, we're, you know, honestly, we're learning as we go here, um, you know, which is a really exciting, um, but, you know, another one that's really popped out besides those two is reference checks. You know, we have some uh, kind of first hmm. customers who want to do reference checks. It's really a kind of like a, discrete conversation that needs to happen at a point in the candidate journey, right? And we think that it's kind of programmable and tough to be yeah. done by voice AI. And the other one that's come up is actually uh, for prepping candidates for calls with the hiring manager. And um, I'm even getting feedback after. So, you know, having a call go out, hey, you know, I know that you just talked Talk to John, you know, how the call go, were there any follow-ups, you know, what's the next step, you know. So, you know, things that you can really program, but we're seeing, you know, which is a really cool part when you release this kind of tech is, you know, you actually have customers coming to us now saying, hey, can I do this, can I do that? And, you know, often the, the answer has been yes. Yeah, it's really cool. I didn't think of reference checks as a possible use case there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Alex is going to show us the, uh, the technology today. So Alex is going to share a screen and we'll get rolling with that. So all right. Alex, you have the floor. Awesome, Chris. Thank you so much. Let me just make sure that you all can uh, can hear this and we'll... Hello, this is Grace calling from the County Transit District regarding the maintenance instructor position. Do you have a few minutes to chat about the job opportunity? Uh, yes, I do. Great. I'd like to ask you a few questions to see if you might be a good fit for the maintenance instructor role. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. Fantastic. Here's the first screening question. Do you have at least six years of related progressive full-time experience as an automotive truck diagnostic technician, repair technician, or instructor? Yeah, uh, I've been doing uh, repair tech work now for about 10 years. Uh, I have not done uh, the instructor instructor component yet. It's great to hear about your 10 years of repair tech experience. Just to clarify, do you have experience with powertrain electronic controls, onboard high voltage systems, onboard high pressure systems, ABS, HVAC, and PLC systems as mentioned in the job description? Yeah, generally, I mean, particularly done a work with, um, done a lot with the uh, PLC and uh, the, uh, the HVAC particularly. That's fantastic. It sounds like you have relevant experience with the systems mentioned. Here's the next question. Do you have strong oral and written communication skills, as well as knowledge of word processing and spreadsheet programs? I do, yeah. People have told me that, yeah. Great to hear that you have strong communication skills and are familiar with word processing and spreadsheet programs. Here's the next question. Do you have demonstrated journey level mechanic experience showing knowledge, expertise, and ability to troubleshoot advanced systems and make repairs? I do, yes. That's wonderful to hear. One last question. Do you have experience with zero emission technology, including battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell systems? Yeah, I did that a little bit at my previous role. Um, hadn't done a lot of it before that job, but yeah, a little bit. Great to know that you have some experience with zero emission technology. Do you have any questions about the role or the job description that I can help clarify for you? Yeah, what is the, the job pay? The pay for this position is between $50 to $66 per hour. Do you have any other questions or would you like to schedule a follow-up call to discuss further details in your availability? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, that would... That would be great. Perfect. When would be a good time for you for a follow-up call? 
Uh, I think I'm free tomorrow in the morning and also Thursday afternoon, maybe between like two and three. Got it. I'll schedule a follow up call for tomorrow morning and Thursday afternoon between two and three. I'll give you a call back during those times. Thank you for your time today. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. All right, that's that. Okay, that was pretty cool. So a couple questions on the follow up there. Does the candidate know they're talking to a, a, a robot? Yeah, so <clears throat> in, in general, yes, I'd say. Um, you know, we've, you know, have a, a bunch of recordings as far as we can tell, like most, most people can tell, you know, kind of state by state and customer by customer, mm -hmm. you know, we do recommend that they actually stay at the outset. You know, mm -hmm. hi, I'm, I'm a bot. Calling, there's really no reason to hide it. Uh, and some, you know, some have chosen to do that, some not. I just didn't have yeah. that in the demo. Um, what's it like uh, for the for the organization setting this up? Like, is it, uh, give, just give me some, some background on how they would kind of implement this, you know? Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, what's, what's really cool about this is, you know, because we kind of build on top of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, LMs, you know, it's actually fairly, uh, fairly intuitive. So we basically have a lot of kind of pre-built kind of full flows and templates, and then the the customer would work with Sense and our team to kind of customize that to their jobs. Um, you know, at the core, what the bot is doing is really actually, you know, reading off of the job dis the job dis description, and you know, maybe kind of company background info they want to include yep. and then there you know obviously that you know that bot actually created everything that it asked and then that that i asked back to answer off of the jd so we can pull in all your jds from your for from your atfs or wherever they are you know you can load them in sense and then you know it's it's really building the, the conversation off of that. So you don't have to go through and say, I want you to ask this and then ask this and then ask this. It's 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 a very fluid based on where the conversation goes. Yeah. What's been the early response from your customers? I assume you're kind of beta testing this with a few of them or something. Yeah, we're in beta test now, you know, with our first customers who are kind of co, you know, co-designing this with the company and, you know, and the response has been Really great. I mean, I think, you know, some of the things that have been surprising to both customers and to even me is, you know, one, like, um, um, you know, the number of people that pick up the phone, you know, we're able to get decent pickup rates since we're really targeting candidates, um, you know, like after, after they apply or just like outreaching to them for relevant job, we're able to do things like text them if they don't pick up and ask for better time to call back. So we're getting really good pickup rates. You know, people are actually having real long conversations with the bot too. I mean, that kind of what you just saw is not an unusual one. I mean, I've seen even conversations go for like 10 or more minutes. Um, if the candidate is like asking a lot, they want to know more about the job, they're kind of being more proactive. Um, you know, so I've been, you know, kind of a uh, blown away that, you know, you know, a large percentage are actually really comfortable kind of chatting with this thing because it, you know, gets them answers that they want. It helps them like uh, to, to advance the hiring process, um, you know, maybe faster than they might be used to, you know, with a company. Yeah. Well, I think, I think, I think it's the closest thing to the, to a 24 seven virtual recruiter, that's in the market right now. So I give you guys a lot of credit for coming out with this first. And uh, I look forward to see you guys take it as well. I think it's, I think it's a product and service that I think the market needs right now. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, what you guys come out with next too. So thanks. Thanks a lot, Alex. Thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah. And thank you for, for having me. I appreciate it. And tell them where to go to learn more about Sense. Yeah. You can find us on tensehq.com. You can see uh the whole suite there um, and kind of see more of the voice piece also. Awesome. I appreciate your time today, Alex. Thanks for stopping by. Lots of new reg tech.
it's pretty cool, Alex. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time on RecTech from YouTube. Bye-bye. Looking for your next HR technology role? Go to your browser, type in hrtechjob.com, and browse hundreds of jobs with the best HR technology vendors. HR tech professionals finally have a dedicated job marketplace to find work or be found. Sign up for job alerts or post a resume. Discover jobs with companies like Workday, Phenom, HiBob, Deal, and more. You'll even find HR tech roles with employers in case you want to work with managing HCM or HRIS platforms. HR Tech Job, the only job market for HR technology careers. Join us at hrtechjob.com.